What up guys, this is Flan Con Leche and welcome to my very first YouTube video here on this channel. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to properly de-lid, lapse, clean, and then re-lid a i9-10900K processor all the way from start to finish. All right, but before we begin, even though this is my very first YouTube video here on this channel, I'm gonna be bringing you guys a bunch more videos on gaming, gaming hardware and tech and, and all types of stuff like that. Uh, so if you like what you see in this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, just stay tuned for more awesome uh, gaming and gaming tech videos just like this one. All right, so the very first thing that you're gonna wanna do now, this doesn't apply to everybody. It's only gonna apply to the people who have brand new 10900K um, processors. But what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna unbox the processor, install it in your system and make sure it works. I mean, do a burn-in test. Uh, that's something that I highly recommend. It's possible that you can get a defective processor out of the box. And if the first thing you do is just delete it, you're not gonna know whether it was your processor that was screwed up before you deleted it or if you did something after the fact. So my recommendation is to possibly actually uh, put it in your system and go ahead and do a burn-in test. Run it for a week, run it for two weeks, and also keep track of your temperatures. Make sure that your, you know, your processor temperatures are actually, you know, keep them, write them down, keep a log, because it's also gonna be important to make sure that you didn't do something to make the temperatures worse when you did the delitting process. If your temperatures come out worse, that most likely means you applied the liquid metal incorrectly. So it's important to keep a log of it, make sure you know what you're getting yourself into prior to it, and then make sure that we're actually making an improvement uh, after we actually do the actual delit itself. Okay, so here in front of me, I have all of the items you're gonna need to complete a successful D-Lid on an Intel processor. I'm gonna go through them uh, to each one of the categories, each one of the items concisely, and hopefully you guys can follow along. Okay, so starting from the bottom here, this is technically all one item. This is the Rocket Cool uh, LGA 1200 D-Lid kit. Now, everything you see here sort of comes in one, in one package. Uh, so we're actually gonna have the D-Lid, uh, portion of it with the screws that connect to the actual deleter and the two allens. You'll see how you use those later. And then you have the relid here. These these three are part of the relid uh, kit over here. And that's how we're actually going to put the lid on top of the processor once we're actually done and we're going to seal it up. Uh, now, after we actually uh, delid the processor, sort of a half step in between, then comes in all these items over here. So uh, the first thing that we have here is uh, some Quicksilver. So this is actually so we can remove the solder from the processor once we actually, uh, you know, delid it. Uh, next is we're gonna have some uh, Flitz polish. So this is how we're gonna actually sh uh, polish the processor to make sure it's shiny before we put the liquid metal on the actual processor. Uh, right here we have some Thermal Grizzly conductor knot. So this is gonna actually actually be the uh, liquid metal that we're gonna be using on the actual processor to uh, make sure it's staying cool and actually giving us better temperatures. And then down here, these are just a couple of tools that we're gonna need. So I, I generally like to keep a little bit of a spudger here. Uh, both of these kind of do the same thing, but I like just using the black stick better or the spudger. Uh, this is gonna help us take off the adhesive off of the processor, as well as clean up any edges with this side. Uh, and then we can also use this for kind of similar things. Uh, and then we're gonna actually have the adhesive itself, which is gonna allow us to create that seal back on our processor. So we won't have any issues if you move it from one system to another. And a couple of optional items you're also gonna wanna have on hand is uh, some uh, isopurple alcohol, um, 90, 70%, 91%, whatever it might be. I'm trying to be scarce because of the pandemic. Uh, some sort of credit card. I'm using this T-Mobile SIM card, but anything that's sort of plastic is also gonna help you sort of get some of the adhesive off. And then a couple of paper towels. It's gonna get really messy. I'm using this little uh, paper here, but, but it's gonna get messy, so have a bunch of paper towels as well. Oh, and uh, also you're gonna definitely need some Q-tips. All right, so now that we know what everything is, let's go ahead and get started with the deleting. All right, so step one is we're gonna have to take our Intel processor. This is our 10 uh, 900K processor here. Now, uh, with, just like when you have a regular motherboard socket, uh, you're gonna have the actual corner here and you're gonna line that up with the corner of your processor here. But we're gonna go ahead and just go ahead and close this up. And then we're gonna use these three screws that come with it and actually grab our Allen and tighten these up. And uh, yeah, get to the lidding. I do miss the days when these used to be thumb screws. 
Okay, so now that we have all three of these uh, screws actually tightened here, the next thing you wanna do is grab the other Allen, which is actually gonna be the one for the actual delitting. So uh, what I like to do is I like to actually screw this in as much as I can by hand until I can't screw anymore. And then, yep, there we go. And then I'm gonna go ahead and now grab our Allen and start getting to actually delitting. So it's really important that you do this in a quiet room because you're gonna to need to listen for the actual seal breaking. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it. Oh, well, this one didn't actually make a popping noise. The older process is used to, uh, but this one did actually, you can actually feel it. it's kind of like a, like a thump uh, in the actual turn. I'm gonna do it back and forth a couple of times just because also I've been, I've experienced this not actually uh, properly breaking the solder. So there we go. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and back the Allen out. All right, and just like that, your processor should sort of be shifted and hopefully, yeah, just like that, it lifts right off. And now we actually have um, our two different sides and you guys can actually see all of the different, um, you can actually see all the solder there that's actually been uh, popped off. So I'm gonna go ahead and now let's, uh, let's go ahead and clean this up and then we'll get our new copper top on top and I'll show you guys the process around that as well.